All right, it's a regular guy. I changed my shirt up. I've got the Oscar mic because I'm on mission. YouTube got me super irritated by they deleted one of my videos with 22,000 views on it because basically I've helped so many people fix their polymer 80. Look, I'm just not gonna go into my rant again. Some of y'all saw it earlier and I'm pissed off, but you know what? I've decided I'm doing one video a week on the polymer 80 on how to fix it. I want everyone to like, subscribe, share with all their friends. It's gotta get so big that, that they can't deny it. And to be honest, people think that uh, that YouTube is uh, fair and stuff, they're not. Because I didn't do anything wrong. There's nothing about what we're talking about on polymer 80s that's illegal. We're talking about how to make weapons safer. And that's the whole point of this so that people will not have misfires or they won't have triggers that malfunction. So it's to make things safer. So enough about that, let's get right into it. Contacted every day about the number one problem, trigger will not reset. So it's due to sloppy tolerances, which I've, I've got other videos on how I fix this, but normally there's a lot of wobble in the slides on a polymer 80. They're just not built to factory spec like they should be. And you have a lot of slop in there. This one is pretty good actually, because I've fixed it. But this causes your trigger uh, bar to sit too low in the weapon and not function correctly. Notice I said not function correctly. This is not making a full auto or a suppressor or a bump stock like YouTube was trying to say on my other video. So basically the way it works is it's supposed to press your trigger, your uh, firing pin lug back. Then when the trigger drops, the firing pin goes forward and fires. And then when it comes back, it grabs the back of the sear and lifts your trigger up. And this is what resets your trigger forward. So when this doesn't happen, it's because the sloppy tolerances, you basically, it's barely grabbed on like this. And then when it falls, it goes back over and then it slips right back over the top. And the only way to fix this is you have to adjust your sear angle right here. No, it's not gonna make anything full out. I gotta keep saying that because YouTube is like, oh, well, what, if, what, what if you're trying to make a bump stock or something? So basically you put this in a vise and I'll show you a picture of it in a moment. You, you have a vise like so, and you put this in and you lift the back, the back part up by basically you torque it forward. I'm just exaggerating and you don't do that much, just so you know, you just barely do it. And there, it tips the back up just slightly. This is about the angle, if you can see that you should have. If yours is pretty flat, then it's, it's not gonna work correctly and, and then you'll lead to other problems. But, once again, I like to heat my crossbar up a little bit just because cold metal breaks and it doesn't bend very good. You don't want to do it too hot. I just use about five or 600 degrees on a little heat gun, which is actually right here. And I'll use a glove and I just kind of heat it up with a glove and just get it warm just so it doesn't break. You don't want to take a temper out of it or anything like that. And then I stick it in the vise and I'll show you a picture in just one second. And then basically you tip the back part up. You don't want to hold down here because that puts a lot of torque on there and you will snap this part off. You just want to tweak the angle just barely by holding it up here and tweaking it. And it might take two or three times of doing it because you don't want to overdo it because then it makes your trigger travel way too long. But this is the best way to fix it. This is the, the number one cause that you will see of why your trigger doesn't reset. So then your trigger up bar will be sitting higher like so it will still fall and it will fire forward and then it grabs more of it and lifts it back to where it should be for proper operation. So, all right, so that was the quick recap. You know what, I may redo the video in a couple of days, but I wanted to get the message back out there. Like, share, subscribe, everything. YouTube is not gonna censor gun advocates out there when you're not doing anything wrong. I'm a strong believer in the second amendment. I've tried to remain apolitical on this channel and not let that affect anything. I keep it 100% legal all the time. So I don't know what they were thinking, but you know what, it's somebody sitting over in California that doesn't know anything about guns trying to say, oh, well, he, they're trying to do, uh, try to show people how to build things that they shouldn't. That, that's not true at all. It's how to make things operate safely the way they should. So if you've had any other experiences, if you got other problems, you need more of a detailed explanation, let me know in the comments. You know what, let, let me know in the comments, good, bad, or indifferent there, just to keep putting it to YouTube with more comments on there. That's regular guy's opinion.